it is, my new setup. Not fully cable managed yet. What I got was an upgrade in pretty much every department. Upgraded my motherboard. So this thing, it's probably, uh, well, most definitely overkill for where I'm at right now. But the plan is upgrade path. And, yeah, I hope it uh, serves me well. There's a few other X670E types out there. But that's the one I chose on sale on Amazon. As you can see, my power supply... Just chose this based on uh, some Reddit recommendation. Probably the X RM 750X, I think, may have been better. But again, it is what it is. And there's what you see: Intel Arc 770. Rolling the dice on this one, trusting that uh, things will improve. But 16 gig. GDDR6 for like 250 or 275. I can't remember what I paid. Under 300, no doubt. Cooler. This was $13. Going back in time. It's beast. Huge. What else have I here? There's my RAM. DDR5, 32 gigs, 6,000. Looks like a good kit. What else have I here? Well, there's the CPU, Ryzen 7. It is a, if you can read it, not so much, 7700X. 7700X on sale at Amazon. And my NVMe, one terabyte WD Black SN 850X, again on sale. And that's pretty much the gist of the setup here. I'm reusing an old case. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, my backup SSD, which is a Samsung 500 gig. And then I got my old one terabyte Western Digital um, hard drive, platter hard drive. So right now uh, I've actually run this system in a different uh, case. Wasn't sure I could get this one to fit in this case, but I did a little modification. If you've seen my old video, I had this cyber power case with um, a 7770 that I upgraded to a 7790, so 4th gen Intel. I upgraded a GTX, is it even a GTX 760? Um, to a GTX 1060. And it's been about a year or so, I think, since that last video, maybe less. But I decided to go ahead and upgrade and not wait on Intel's new uh, Battle Mage systems. Those are pushed back to 2025. So nothing terribly bleeding edge except for maybe you can consider this A770 because it's, you know, still not perfect. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. And I ran, like I said, I ran it off of my SSD. And the plan is to now um, run it, uh, boot it from a USB drive with Windows uh, install on it. And we'll see, um, yeah, how fast it is. <laughs> I'm expecting it to be pretty quick uh, with that NVMe. Uh, it's in that Gen 5 slot. Let's see here. Yeah, Lightning Gen 5. But, you know, I don't think it's going to utilize all that. So, um, yeah, there we are. Put back together. I got a couple of uh, 
you know ROM drives in there that I'm still using and uh, yeah CDRW DVDRW something like that so a little bit of old and new mixed together here and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to getting it uh, loaded up with Windows on the NVMe instead of running it off of my uh, little SSD in there uh, SATA drive you know yeah we'll see how it goes I'll use the uh, you know this SATA as a backup and then this not a backup but um, alternate drive and then uh, my one terabyte Western Digital as an alternate drive as well and eventually migrate things over to more NVMEs I presume I'm hoping to get a good five ten years out of this machine like I did with my last one that was a 2024 system with that 4770 and uh, you know just a couple of upgrades SSD uh, video card and the chip to the best I could do in that LGA socket to 4790 so at least we're in uh, the next decade here yeah we'll see how it goes um, I'll keep you posted uh, by the way I did upgrade uh, yeah update the BIOS flash the BIOS um, the Intel arcs got all the newest um, drivers so everything's pretty well updated and ready to go um, you know I did that through the uh, booting off my SSD but now I want to put the NV I put the NVMe in there and now we're gonna get Windows on there and you know see how it goes and you probably saw it before but that's the front of the case pretty pretty ancient old school um, but it does have some you know front panel access even USB 3.0 not too shabby you know think about 2014 when this was purchased USB 3.0 on the front um, so yeah it was decent it was a you know, near top top of the line I think I paid around twelve thirteen hundred dollars for it uh, ten years ago um, this new system is under a thousand so far <laughs> I did order some uh, case fans for it because uh, it's pretty light on case fans and one of the case fans that was down here case fan from the back to down there down there and uh, I got a couple of little case fans coming in and get some good circulation through this beast but yeah it's wide open right now so yeah let's let's get this show on the road and try and get windows on this thing on the NVMe and another thing of note while well, I'm thinking of it is um, only one of my monitors uh, worked. Uh, I have a TV. Actually, they're kind of two TVs. Um, and only one worked through HDMI. The other one was very fickle. I don't know if it's the cable. I heard something about those arcs and certain cables, um, HDMI cables not working. So I ordered a um, HDMI to um, display port cable. We'll see if that does anything. Neither of my monitors uh, do DisplayPort, so <laughs> maybe I'll be getting one of those. You know, maybe when the OLEDs come down a little bit more in price, um, that would be an ideal situation. But I have a 42-inch TV, and there's Buckethead signed. Anyway, 42-inch TV, and this is the monitor that works right now so I've been doing everything off that thing and that's also like a 2014 vintage I don't know when this thing came out but yeah I just can't get it to recognize so working on that too so right now just one monitor that does uh, does the trick okay let's power this up hopefully I connected all the buttons correctly We'll peek in there. See the arc. A little 
RGB action. Fan is working down here. Intake. All right, let's take a look here. That looks like a good sign. So from here on out, I will do the deal and get back to you. All right, randos. It is basically done. Got everything all wrapped up in there. And front panel set up. The only thing I don't have set up is my old uh, DVD, ROM, and writers. Um, but you got everything else is set up. Uh, I haven't officially tested the front audio jacks yet, but the USB uh, 3.0 works up front here and regular USB. And lights work too. But as you see, I'm going to be upgrading Intel Core i7. Bum, bum, bum. If it'll focus, <laughs> that's very anticlimactic. Ryzen 7. So that's where we're at. So with one hand, make this look somewhat decent. Now here we are, 10 years later, upgraded. And here's some specs off the monitor. MSI X670E for the motherboard, AMD 7700X, a couple of Corsair DDR5s, at 6000 got my old SSD running as a SATA 500 gig I got an old Western Digital you know hard disk drive and our main drive is the Western Digital Black SN850X 1 terabyte A770 graphics and the Radeon you know uh, onboard graphics that I'm not using and uh 2.5 gigabit internet and then just for grins here we got you know the CPU Z stats memory running at 3000 per I think that's per stick anyway yeah XMP I have it running on Expo so yeah 3000 Per stick basically DDR5 6000 graphics Intel so on and so forth and here we have Windows 11 I actually upgraded to Windows 11 believe it or not um, seems okay I guess I know there's a lot of concerns about safety and whatnot but I decided just run the whole new deal i know that's not showing up too well here but there we are the random dave that was the old video there inexpensive upgrades to a 10 year old desktop so i reused the case and took out all the other stuff there and one last thing is on this side panel i removed that side fan so I could make room for the the massive cooler as you saw earlier in this video. So yeah, that is it friends. Thanks for watching and wish me luck with this new build. And on that note, Random Dave is out of here.